Okay, welcome. I'm glad you guys are here to see our um, children's musical today. It's called A Good King Comes in Small Packages. Hope you're in your, I shouldn't say I hope. I know you're in for a real treat and you'll have a lot of fun seeing your kids up here and friends and family. Just a couple of things. I'd like to thank a couple of people. First of all, Charlene, if you could come from behind stage. Charlene Borelli has pretty much put the entire staging together. My husband did the kitchen area over here, so thank you, Eric. He would die if I made him come up here, so I won't make him come up here. But Charlene's put all the costume together and had to create a few of them and created this wall back over here and pretty much the stage. So if you guys could give her a big hand, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Backstage people just love being brought up front. It's so much fun. I want to thank um, Brian and Colton for doing my sound up there and Ashley for doing music. And Dwayne came in and got our lights all set up, so I thank them. And I have an Alvernez up there. I'm trying to see which one. I have lights in my eyes. It's Casey. Thank you, Casey, for coming and doing the videotaping. I can't see anything right now. So sit back and enjoy yourself, and right afterwards there is cake and um, lemonade, so you want to, so please eat some, because they're two huge sheet, cake, sheet cakes from Costco, so don't leave it all for me. Um, hope you guys have a good time, and sit back and relax, and let's go. Thank you. 
Timeless enough to you, but he's bad news. It isn't so bad to the staff, I guess, as long as you have to his way. And he does work in pretty exciting things. But he pays for the party by taxing the people. And if they refuse to pay, it's off for their head. But worst of all, he makes us worship pagan gods. Hey, you! Who? Me, Your Majesty? Yeah, you! Who are you? I'm Elizabeth, Your Majesty, of the Palace Church. Are you new here? Yes, Your Majesty. Who are you? I'm Elaine, Your Majesty, the kitchen help. I'm Elizabeth, Your Majesty, and no, I'm not new here. I've been on the college staff almost two years. You hired me. Well, Lester, why aren't you in the kitchen cooking? I was told it was the housekeeper. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to her. We just finished eating, Your Majesty, and it's Elizabeth, Your Majesty. Sure, whatever, very well, Elaine, carry on.
Good morning, Father. I'm so glad to see you. How are you? Who are you? I was thrown out of the palace. I'm Josiah. And why are you approaching me in such a disrespectful way? Well, speak up. I'm Josiah, your son. <clears throat> oh, that's Josiah. Uh, yes, of course. The king has things to do today. Nice. Now run along and play, Joseph. It's Josiah, sir. Yeah, whatever. Let the kid with all due respect, Your Majesty, you're going to teach Josiah how to shoot his bow and arrow today. Well, I can't. The king has important things to do today. Hokaya, I hereby order you to keep my son, um, Joshua, company today. It's Josiah, Your Majesty. Yeah, whatever. Come, gentlemen, we have to plan a party for tomorrow night. Hey, you, and hey, come and decide. Help us decide what we should serve with the pork. That's Elizabeth you're working with. Yeah, whatever. Well, Josiah, yeah, it looks as if it's just the two of us again. What would you like to play? Maybe I could teach you how to shoot your bow and arrow. Thanks, Alkaya, but I don't feel much like playing anymore. He couldn't even remember my name. Well, Josiah, you know he has a lot on his mind lately. <laughs> Maybe he had his crown on too tight. <laughs> Alkaya, you always make me laugh, even when I'm sad. Don't worry, Josiah. Sadness is just a part of being human. We all have our good times and our bad. But our God never changes. You could trust in him. Josiah to decide. What do you mean, Elizabeth? Why'd you call him, why'd you bow and call Josiah your majesty? We have some bad news. Uh, oh, I know. Good news and bad news, huh, Elizabeth? Not this time, your majesty. Why are my father's servants here? Why are they putting this crown on my head? Why are my father's servants here? Why are they putting this crown on my head? 
I can't see. Father is dead. And since you're his son, you're the new king. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do. My father never taught me anything about being a king. I never got to know him. Father never taught me any. I never been to a party, much less given one. Do you think I could maybe grow a beard? At least I look like a king. You look fine, Your Majesty. I have an idea. The first is fix the sauce to see to make a menu for his college, for his college meals. Really? I could decide what we eat. Anything I want to eat, huh? I'm beginning to like this. All right, Elizabeth, here's the dinner menu. We'll have an appetizer first. Caramel candies, honey cakes, with cinnamon for the first main course. For dessert, we'll have chocolate cookies. Mm. I can hardly wait. Now, and we are servants. This should be fun. 
I really want to be a good king and make the people happy. Here's how we'll do things from now on. problems in, around the palace. The weeds are overgrown on the lawn. Pe people are tripping over toys in the hallways. And everyone's sneezing from the dust on the furniture. <laughs> I'm not a good king, am I, Hilkiah? Well, Josiah, you mean well, but you do need help. I know. Hokaya, the people didn't like my father. I want to be different, a wise king, a servant of the people. You have the right idea there, Josiah. The prophet Isaiah told of a great king who would someday rule Israel as a servant.
things really began to change around here. It wasn't long before he became a very wise king. A message from the king of Assyria for me? No, small fry. My message is to give it to the king, personally. Then give your message to the person on the throne. To the little kid in the toy crown? Forget it. Give your message. You are standing before King Josiah. This half-pipe person is your king? This will be simple. Here's the message, kid. King Amon was smart and made sure the people worshipped all of our gods. And he was paying us not to destroy your kingdom. I'm sure you'll do the same, or else you'll be very sorry. What are you going to do, Josiah? I've learned that we are to worship the one true God, not the Assyrian idols. So I hereby make this decree. We will destroy all of the idols in our land, and we will collect taxes, but we will use the money to repair the house of God. Take that message back to your king. and they made God's house look like new. While they were cleaning, cleaning it, they uncovered a skull in the temple, and they brought it to King Josiah. That's when he had discovered that this people had been built in Babylon. He was so unhappy that he tore his clothes and cried.
seven, six. Seven. Good news. 